Wax on, wax off. Hey everybody, it's David. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Wax on Wednesdays. I've got six albums to share with you today. Uh, three that I received last week and three that I picked up yesterday. Uh, we'll start with the ones that I received last week first. And they are all soundtrack related. And we will start off with the Verez Saraband 40 Years of Great Film Music from 1978 to 2018. Got all kinds of great tracks from movies such as uh, The Right Stuff. Um, you've got Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Back to the Future, um, The Omen, The Crow, Scream, The Sixth Sense, The Matrix, Last of the Mohicans, uh, Whiplash, uh, How to Train Your Dragon, and Star Trek, just to name a few. Very good soundtrack. Uh, I guess you call it a soundtrack. It's actually songs from soundtracks, but it's very comprehensive. It's got a lot of good stuff. And again, it was put out by Veres Airband. Next up we have Hans Zimmer. This is the Man of Steel soundtrack. I'm a big Hans Zimmer fan. And uh, this was one I did not have in my collection. It's a really great score from Hans Zimmer. Here's the back with uh, Superman. And you got a picture of Superman in the gatefold. Came on blue vinyl. the labels and I don't remember if this side C and D was on red no it's also on blue so again blue with the custom labels so that is the Superman soundtrack from Hans Zimmer and then I also picked up the soundtrack to Life Force with music by Henry Mancini. This was a first time watch for me recently. I got the uh, 4K edition of the movie. And I actually got this soundtrack and the movie on the same day. So happy to have Life Force. The next three are ones that I picked up in Evansville. Uh, I was visiting my good friend Cody from h &S Collectibles, and he was taking me around to some of his favorite spots in Evansville, and one of them happened to be Atmosphere Collectibles, a record store there, uh, ran by Ashley and Jerome. I have ordered stuff from them in the past online, but it was good to actually meet them in person. And one of the things that caught my eyes first was this release of Resident Alien from Space Hog. This was uh, released on Record Store Day uh, back in 2020, the August shipment or drop, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did not get it then. It was unfortunately not available, but they had this copy. Uh, this is the 2021 reissue that came on pink vinyl. And uh, they were kind of a one-hit wonder, uh, but if you're at all interested in hearing their song in the meantime, I did feature it on my Sunday Spin video this past Sunday. So head over to that video and check it out. So as far as I know, the only difference between this uh, reissue and the Record Store Day was that the Record Store Day was on a pink and cream splatter, whereas this one is just solid pink. So... There is Space Hog. It is a double LP, so the other one is also pink. So happy to have Space Hog. And while I was there, uh, there were two more records that caught my eye. Uh, the first one being from The Kills. 
I really like Allison Mossart. She is also uh, featured in the uh, Dead Weather Band with Jack White. I really like her vocals. This is a, I guess this is a compilation. It's just um, some B-sides and rarities from their um, catalog. Good stuff. Um, I think it came on Black Wax. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, so let's take a look. Here is the gatefold. <clears throat> yeah, it just came on black wax. And the compilation is called Little Bastards. So, the kills. And then the last one I picked up was The Pretenders. This was their debut album. It has one of my favorite Pretender songs on here, Brass and Pocket. But they had so many great tracks on this album. Um, the Phone Call, uh, The Wait's another great one, Private Life, and uh, yeah. So I'm sure you all are all familiar with The Pretenders. I, again, I just love Chrissy Hines' voice. And I would like to eventually pick up some of their other albums. I was, I would love to get like a, a greatest hits compilation, but nonetheless, happy to have this one in my collection. This is the only one I have uh, at the moment from the Pretender, so I'll keep an eye out for some more. I've got one album, no, two albums that I'm expecting this week from Liam Gallagher. He just dropped his new album, and then there was also a uh, live album that was released as well. And those should be arriving probably tomorrow, or at the latest Thursday. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm filming this on a Monday. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I should be getting that tomorrow from Amazon, and uh, I will be sure to share that with you all in my next video. Hope you all are doing well, and until next time, take care. Thanks.